So some months ago, I realized that I was in dire need of a new GameCube controller because I only had one and I want to be able to play with some friends, some family, and just having one, you can't really do that. As I was scrolling on eBay, I noticed that the controllers were always priced around $60 to $70 if the prices have changed good, but it, they were very expensive. <laughs> I ended up coming across two full GameCube sets with one controller, the GameCube, all the cables, and then I think one of them has a memory card and it was for like $80 and one of them was $100 and it just made me realize just how much more worth it it was to buy a full set like that compared to just a single controller. This is where this video comes to play. I bought two GameCubes. It's, it's in a diaper box. This one was shipped in a diaper box. And here's the second which was sent in this box fully taped in blue and I will be unboxing both GameCubes in today's video. If you're new here, hi, my name's Jess aka Lakevi and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I just went and got a pair of scissors so I can open these boxes. I will be opening them like this but I will be showing you guys what's inside the boxes. So first one up, I'm going to cut right into it. I don't want to show you guys the top because I was too lazy to block off my address. So that's why you're kind of not seeing the full angle. <laughs> I'm very excited. I don't remember which is which. So I got an indigo colored one and then I also got a black one. And I think, I actually, I truly don't remember which is which. It's been a few months. So it's going to be a surprise which color this one is. Also, if my face is very sweaty, apologies. The AC in here it doesn't do much. Basically count this as we have no AC. <laughs> this is what the current situation looks like. Oh. I'm take this off. This is what I feel is a controller. And which one was this? This was the black bean cube. And here's the controller. In pretty good condition. Honestly, I don't need a perfect, perfect one. This is the controller. I put the camera back just so I could take it out of the box. And here it is. This is what it looks like. Uh, I love the look of the black one. I'll dust it off a little bit, but honestly, it looks amazing. The back, it has all the little slots covered. And I'm saying this because I originally had the gray GameCube when I was growing up. My brother lost all the cables, all the controllers, and literally the only thing we had left was this and all of the slots covers were missing. So, but we were kids, so it's fine. But that's why I've been wanting to get new GameCubes back because it just, yes. <laughs> But that's why I've been wanting controllers again, but like I mentioned, the prices were a bit too outrageous. I feel like I got lucky with these two being like 80 slash 100. So yeah, so this was the black GameCube. I'll just put it off to the side. And then the last thing left in the box would be all of the cables. And yes, this is the one that came with a memory card. So here's the memory card. So this is the first memory card, which I'll put back in the box. And these... are all of the cables, which I'm very excited to install. Not sure which GameCube I'll install though, and honestly, I did it for the controllers, but I'm very excited. I'll be, I've been using my Wii to play games since, you know, no cables for my original GameCube, so I couldn't play, but I want to start playing Mario Party 7 with my mom again, because we've been into Mario Party Superstars a lot, but Going back into other games for Mario Kart Double Dash, it's just going to be so much fun playing two or three instead of one. That was the first box and the first GameCube, and now I'm going to be going on to the second GameCube, which essentially is the indigo colored one. So I'm not quite sure how I'm going to cut into this box because it's, it's fully taped. 
but uh, I'll start going and uh, we'll see. I'm, I'm gonna find an opening at one point. <laughs> oh, it wasn't even tape. This was wrapping paper. There's a box underneath here. Okay, I'm going to take the wrapping paper off, which will in turn hide my address. Oh! Oh! You guys gotta see this. Give me a second. So, this is the box. Uh... I know I got this off of eBay, so I'm wondering if they got their GameCube in um, from eBay or for e from EB Games because this is from Canada. I the seller was from Canada, so I know it wasn't GameStop. Although ours is now called GameStop Canada, it's no longer called EB Games. When I purchased this, it ha it hadn't been the switch hadn't been fully made yet. Oh. Okay, so yeah, this is the box, Nintendo GameCube game console, and it says 30 day includes a free 30 day guarantee, ask about our, yeah, it looks like they got it from EB Games at the time, which is pretty cool. Honestly, I'm keeping this box for sure so that I can store it in something different than a diaper box, although plus points for originality on a shipping box. That is brilliant. So I'm cutting the tape. I'm trying not to destroy this box. Okay, I've moved the other box there so I can have a little bit more room in front of me and I'll show you guys um, opening the box. So this is where I'm at. And now to open it, oh, is there tape that I missed again? I feel like I've become, I feel like I've become a pro at missing tape. Doing this while holding a camera is a little tricky. Okay, now we can get into it. Woohoo! Right off the bat, we can see the Indigo controller right here and the console. So I'll take out the controller first. Here it is. Honestly, it looks pretty good to me. If I'm being rather honest, as long as it works, it's fine. <laughs> so this is the controller, the second controller in this haul. And then, okay, yes, that's what I thought. So each GameCube came with a memory card, and this one is still, se well, sealed in the pack. But I don't remember, this has to be, this looks like the one me and my brother used to use when we were kids, but in an in indigo color. Was this one of the older cards that there used to be at that time? If any of you know, let me know. But this is the memory card it came with. And then onto the console. Which once again, I am taking it out of the box like this. Oh my gosh. I love this color. I can't, it's so pretty. Once again, I'll have to do some dusting because it's a little, it's a little dusty. To check the inside, everything looks good. Again, I'll have to do some dusting. I will especially have to clean these right here and check inside as well to see what else I need to clean. But it looks good. I don't really care about the scuffs and the scratches that much because there isn't as many as like my brother and I's. We were, we were children, okay? The GameCube came out when I was personally two, so by the time we got one, we were still very, very young. <laughs> this is it. This is the indigo colored one. And then the last thing in the box is, once again, the cables. All of these are the cables. I'm very, very excited because I could honestly use the cables and then just plug them into my old GameCube to, you know, reminisce and have more of a childhood connection because this is basically a staple from my channel, the nostalgia. <laughs> I'd say one of the things that took me by surprise the most in this video is definitely the EB Games Nintendo GameCube box, the used box. 
this has to be kind of old because I don't, do they still, they probably still do take GameCubes and resell them, but it's a little rarer. I don't know, maybe some of you could answer this to me in the comments. But these are the GameCubes that I've managed to snag and unbox for you guys. And I'm very, very excited that I got two new controllers with them and memory cards as well as my cables and everything is complete. All I have to do is clean them a little bit, take some dust and dirt and yuckiness off. But honestly, they're not as bad as I expected. They're in very good condition. This one yellowed a little bit, but that's fine. That doesn't affect the quality. Oh, I did. How did I just notice this? Okay, this one is a little sad. Now I'm a little sad. I did not notice that it was broken on both corners. I think this one was my least expensive one, so it's not too bad. I got the cables and a controller, and the button's a little bit iffy. I'm just now seeing all of this, guys. But hey, I have my other GameCube, my gray one, and I have this one that looks in good condition compared to it. It's just a little dirty. So at least I have one that will look a little better on my um, TV stand. <laughs> but these are it. These are both the GameCubes I've managed to get. And obviously the main focal point of this video, at least for me and my reason to buy these because the prices are sometimes outrageous on these controllers. Very happy, I now have three controllers. I would just be missing one, but I genuinely do not think I'm going to buy a fourth GameCube, or at least not anytime soon, but truly I think I'm good with the three that I have, but I will be trying to find a controller that is not 80 bucks. I think the thing that makes it harder for me is that I'm looking for the Nintendo GameCube controllers. I have found some before that were like 40 bucks, but they go away so fast sometimes I don't even have time to get them and prices are rising and get things are getting rarer so all in all I'm still genuinely happy with the decision I made to get the entire GameCube bundle instead of just controllers because I feel like it makes just the spending more worth it but I now have my three controllers I also have a matching indigo colored Nintendo switch wireless GameCube controller so I'm very excited. I'll be able to put them both side by side. Yeah. <laughs> all in all, that was all for today's video. If I have to rate this and haul, I'd say that the black one disappointed me a tiny, tiny bit. But I'm still very, very happy. These were extremely worth it for me. Personally, these were extremely worth it. I will be able to use these. I will be able to plug them into my TV. I have spares and I now have cables again and I will need to use my Wii and I have controllers again. I'm definitely not going to get the wave bird anytime soon. This is that one's very rare and expensive but I am very very happy with these two even if this one got a little banged up because if I remember in the pictures it wasn't that banged up so it could have happened during the whole shipping ordeal because sometimes um, the postage here is not the most delicate. <laughs> I'm still genuinely very happy with this. Maybe for some of you it wouldn't be worth it, but my reason, my happiness, just it makes it all worth it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!